So you're probably asking yourself how a handsome devil like me ended up in a place like this with you, right? All right. I'll tell you the whole story, but I warn you, it ain't pretty. A beautiful face only a mother could love. So I guess I'd have to start with the book. Legend has it that it was written by the Dark Ones. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, The Book of the Dead. You were given a book of spells. What the fuck? Nost ah, crap. About 20 some odd years ago, Professor Nobi unearthed the book at Castle Kandar and accidentally unleashed the deadites in the woods outside Dearborn. That's when I got involved. To make a long story short, I was sent to hell and back. And then back again. And then again. Why did more spawn? Oh my god, I'm getting fucked! No! And they're invincible! I'm dead. About enough about that. Let's talk some more about me. Like, for example, how did I end up here? Well, I guess you could say it all started with a woman. A woman in that godforsaken book. Ah, damn. God damn, you see this one double cheeked up? Bro. Make mine a double. Evil Dead Hail to the King. This game came back on the PS2 back in like 2002 and oh my goodness. I remember this game as a kid would scare me. Ironically enough, this game is just pure comedic gold. There's nothing scary about it. I guess you can see it from a little kid's perspective. It is, but little kids are scared of anything, but that's besides the point. This would be my first introduction to the Evil Dead franchise. This, this game, which actually is going back and replaying it is a masterpiece since the new evil dead is coming out this friday i decided hey why not do a pseudo review this is a review slash i'm gonna add gameplay in the background so let's jump on into it Now disclaimer, I cannot really judge the story too hard due to the fact that I have not fully completed this game yet. So what I say, take it up to with a grain of salt, all you Ash of Hail to the King veterans. But anyway, pretty much to sum up the story, and this is a rough sum or a summary, um, Ash pretty much is reliving his old events of what happened during the game. During the game itself, Ash is in a bar drinking while the professor who has a Necronomicon is proving that the Necronomicon is a work of fiction and everything like that. And there's even video of it. One of the old professors, Professor Nobi, goes missing and the predecessor takes over and tries to get the fame of it. It doesn't take long until everybody messes everything up. We're going to play the tape live in studio. Huh? Wait. What the hell are you doing? Don't play it. Don't play that... Overall, the story is not terrible, it's not the best thing from what I've seen, but in tradition to Evil Dead fashion, I actually want to say the story is kind of it's kind of good it's goofy it's wacky there's iconic lines ash says and then even on top of it bruce campbell is the original voice actor that they got back so it makes everything 10 times better so the story is elevated by that pretty much if you're an evil dead fan you would like this game's story it's the story is just there to kind of consist of the gameplay and the combat it's not the greatest thing like i said before but on top of that having this icon the iconic voice actor of bruce campbell which you can't have Ash, Ash Williams without Bruce Campbell. Like if you did, if they had the voice act, didn't have the voice actor, this game, in my opinion, would have been a flop. But they did, and he's back with his iconic lines. Run your hand up the thigh of the supernatural till you get your wrist slapped. I uh, do seem to have underestimated the power of the book somewhat. These creatures, if we leave them alone, will they eventually? No. Die? Oh, sure, they'll go hang out with the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Listen, Brainiac, these are the mother of all pest problems, and we are the exterminators. Ah, uh, the bread and butter to any single video game is obviously the gameplay, right? Well, you would be wrong. Nah, I'm just kidding. You're, you're right. But the gameplay of this game isn't anything revolutionary, anything exciting, or anything interesting. The gameplay of this game is just gory fun. 
The gameplay to this game really feels like you're just mashing buttons most of the time. You mash square to kill most enemies in this game, but you get so many assortments of weapons and guns and everything like that. Like I said before, I haven't beat the game, so I'm not sure if you get even more than what I initially got from my playthrough. But pretty much, once you get the chainsaw, you unlock a um. You unlock pretty much a bunch of new animations with the chainsaw itself, and it adds on this level of gore to the enemies. They get dismembered, they get all that and whatnot, all that good stuff. But even on top of that, you even get executions for it, which is really, really cool, which I really like about it. The, uh, the chainsaw executions, that's very, very enjoyable. But even though you're spamming the square button, the variety and the consistency and the amount of weapons there are spices that up so much. It feels like every weapon feels like it has weight to it. Every weapon feels nice. And the best part is it never gets old. Every weapon feels like it does damage. Let's go. Eat my fucking poop hole. Wait, what? <laughs> Since we talked about the weapons, we have to talk about the enemies. The deadites and the zombies, pretty much they all kind of are the same. The only issue with it is that when they gang up on you, once a horde or a number of them come to you at once, then it becomes incredibly hard to where you have to actually use the equipment you have in the best way possible or try to go around them. In this instance, there's a, even a special scene for this exact situation. And it showed it off screen. <laughs> it certainly didn't do a whole lot for my police escort. It kind of went against the grain, but I figure I better play this some other way. I'm not doing that. Holy shit! I should have did that. I should have did that. I should have did that. I made a mistake. Not only are they a threat in large groups of numbers, they even have this fun mechanic where they ambush you, they pretty much break through holes in the wall, and man, it absolutely scares the hell out of me every time it happens. Oh! Oh no! God dang, God dang it, dude! One final thing about the gameplay, you actually get a book of spells which have button inputs that you had to put in in the right order and if you fail it, you end up exploding and it's really funny when it happens but not to mention that you get a bunch of things like strength which you need to progress in certain areas your equipment is essential to actually being able to progress which is the fun gimmick about this game you have to actually use your brain to figure out where you're going and everything like that and it adds on to the equipment which makes it even 10 times better your equipment is actually used useful outside of combat. I know I've been giving this game nothing but compliments, but that's all I can do. The world itself is this dark, grimy, grinny atmosphere where you feel the world around you feel isolated. I'll give you one bad thing I'll say about this game. Graphically, it does not hold up even for a PS2 game back in the day. It does not hold up that well graphically. It does not look great. But everything else adds on to its charm. The fact that it doesn't look great. The buildings are all dull. They're all gray. The certain lighting in the atmosphere looks awful and atrocious. And that even adds on to the charm of it the most. This It will make you feel like you're closed in at all times. It will eat away your claustrophobia with the narrow streets and the zombies filled with it. The no room to escape. Like, it adds on to it so much. It feels like you're stuck in this weird state of purgatory every time. Even the music has a way of feeling like that with the ambiance music having horror elements to it. The one downside I'll say that this game has is its combat music for its music. Oh my goodness, will you hear the same tune over and over again? You're stinking up my town. But even the perpetual and repetitive same music adds to the ambiance to the game, making you feel like you're stuck in this weird pseudo-purgatory state where everything is repeating over and over again, almost like Ash Williams' life, how every time he thinks he's defeated uh, the deadites, the evil within, or the evil that he's fighting every single day, it always comes back to bite him. It's this weird kind of like philosophical way of approaching it, and I don't even know if they did it on purpose or if it was by accident, but oh my god, is it 
brilliant. And don't get me started on the just no combat doll music. It has this weird horror element and builds up suspense to the next thing ready to attack you. And you're always on guard with it. What this game does really well is it doesn't hold your hand. It makes you use your brain to figure out things on your own. For instance, trying to get into uh, certain areas of the map you, or finding certain items, you have to do weird and creative things in order to do it. For I'll give you an example. Uh, in the beginning of the game, you need to find dynamite to explode a gate in order to actually get the detonates to go after it, so that way you can get a badge or a key to progress through the story. Ah. There you go. That's how I did it. You had to throw the dynamite over the damn fence and blow up oh, them all. Oh, that's just beautiful. Ah, oh, there's more. Ah, oh, there's somebody in there. And it blew up the back door. All right. In conclusion, if you are an Evil Dead fan, you should, without a doubt, play this game if you have it. If you have, let me know in the comments what was your favorite part about this game. Now, honestly, you're not going to be getting a fun and addicting story of this game. At best, it's subpar, it's kind of mediocre. It, this isn't a decision-based game. This is a fun, gory game with fun gameplay elements, with interesting mechanics to it, with actually being able to use your brain to find new ways to get the items you need to progress in the story, with scary and iconic music that makes the world feel like you're stuck in this perpetual state of purgatory and it makes you feel like you're actually ash williams in that situation where hey look i have to do this again my life is kind of like i'm stuck in this endless loop and it's so poetic and it's so fun i highly highly recommend this game this was the game that got me into evil dead as a franchise like every time i thought about it I was like, oh man, Evil Dead is such a good franchise. Due to this game, this is probably one of their better games that came out. And with that being said, I'm going to be leaving you guys a little bit of a treat. <laughs> I'm going to pretty much... The, this isn't the end of the video. This um, The video is going to end with just some fun moments I had with the game as a whole. Just some fun, goofy moments, how I usually do for the channel. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about my opinion. Let me know if you played the game before. I really want to know. I'm very curious. Honestly, it's really, really fun, and I highly, highly recommend it, and I cannot reiterate that. This is probably one of my favorite PS2 games that came out back in the day. Now, this is Kenor, Future Kenor, signing off. Have a good day, and farewell, my fellow sea serpents. And, if you're not a fellow sea serpent, no reason not to join today. But, till next time. Bye! Right, come on, let's do this. Dude, listen to that music. Let's go! My fucking poop hole. Wait, what? <laughs> there you go. Damn, look at that fucking thick booty on Ash. And look at this beautiful, beautiful face. Hold on. A beautiful face only a mother could love. Let's get, yeah, let's get that in there. Yeah, look at this in the video. Let's, you were given a book of spells. What the fuck? No st oh, crap. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome! I don't even remember that! Orb... Um... Oops. <laughs> hey, nice face. Let me fix it for you. Yeah, I'm about to kill her. Yo, look at her running! She's <laughs> quit walking! Yo, can I... Can I actually? <laughs> Bro, it's caked up! God damn, look at you! Ash is even looking at that ass like, damn! And what can I say, man? Just throwing a... Oh! Oh my god, he got the McDonald's shoes on! And he's dead, okay, well. <laughs> oh, oh no! God, god dang it, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Man, buddy. Come here. Come here. Ah! Finally. Lightning. Lightning spell. I knew how to use spells. This is, wait, hold on, wait. This is the strip club or part of it? Which which is it? Is this the strip club as a whole? Bro. Okay. 
the smallest strip club in the world war goes to? God damn. Alright, cool, we're good. I had, to, I had to check if I was still working. Ah! Ah! Anything in Nobis we had as evidence is most likely in the trash by now. You're welcome to sit through the bins behind the station. Ah, great. The one thing missing from my day. <laughs> we gotta dig through Come the on, trash. Alright, what a Chad. Alright, let's go. I guess I'm gonna have to make sure this guy lives. I don't think he's gonna live. Yeah, he's... Yeah, yeah. But this AI, he ain't living for long. <laughs> he, yeah, he's not living. The yard behind the police station was crawling with deadites. Something told me walking in with guns blazing wasn't the smart option. Okay. Everybody lie down on the ground and nobody's gonna get hurt. Oh! Oh, God! No, stop! Ah! 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 <laughs> and they showed it off screen? <laughs> it certainly didn't do a whole lot for my police escort. It kind of went against the grain, but I figure I better play this some other way. I'm not doing that. Holy shit! I should have did that. I should have did that. I should have did that. I made a mistake. Oh man, never mind. I, bro, their AI is bugged. Found out exploiting their AI. Look at that. You just keep going back here. Let's go, baby. Are they killable? Is the question, though. Yep. Let's go, baby. All right, now go this way. Sneak past these guys. Yep, I should have a med kit, right? Nope. Oh god, if I fucking die here, I suck. I suck bad. Go, 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 go. Yep, yep, yep. We have this bitch. We have this bitch. Let's go. We what the fuck? Why did more spawn? Oh my god, I'm getting fucked. No! And they're invincible. I'm dead. Oh, about this bitch? <laughs> what? You know, would it kill you to say please just once in a while? Ew, look at her. Get off me! Fuck you. What the fuck? I'm T-posing! And I died. Alright, well. There you go. You're welcome. Look at the zombie in the background just staring at me. Look at... Thanks, fella. You're welcome. Not sure how you did that, but I'm glad you <laughs> the did. zombie just chilling. This pistol. It might get you out of trouble if you're short on shotgun ammo. <laughs> but look, the zombie's chasing after the cop. <laughs> yeah, he's thick as shit, chasing after him. Uh, I have oh a little. Oh my god, a second body just put out there! We lost Dr. Combo, we gotta go, bro! <laughs> he saved my life so many times. <laughs>